How do you reduce your alcohol cravings through breathing, through meditation, and some other fabulous techniques that Emily Fletcher here from Ziva Meditation is gonna walk us through right now. How are you doing? I'm so happy to be here. I'm so grateful that you are here. Yeah. People who drink alcohol tend to drink it because they're stressed and they're anxious. A very common thing is that people come home from work and they wanna have a glass of wine and go, oh, just, I'm so stressed, I'm so tired, and I wanna relax at the end of the day. But I also know that if we can just have people feeling more reduced, oh sorry, more relaxed and stress-free, that their cravings for alcohol will diminish. So what do we know about meditation, breathing techniques, that we can reduce our stress and anxiety and therefore reduce the alcohol cravings? Yeah, so the beautiful thing about meditation is that it's an internal pharmacy. So all these things that we're looking to help us with externally, the coffee, the alcohol, the sugar, the sleeping pills, the anti-anxiety, the antidepressants, all of those, your dependence on those starts to decrease mm. as you wake up your own internal pharmacy. Because when we're meditating, we're flooding the brain and body with dopamine and serotonin, which are bliss chemicals. So they feel good, they feel organically, naturally, so that you're craving for like social lubrication or or just a way to turn off at the end of your workday. If you're meditating every day, twice a day, you don't need that um, because you would you would have already meditated in the afternoon. So you're not overwhelmed, you're not stressed, you're not anxious, and that's happening internally. And this was a surprising benefit that I started noticing when people would come to me and take my class at Ziva. They mm. would say, Emily, I just don't crave alcohol anymore. Is this normal? I'm, mm. so, I'm such a lightweight now. I don't feel like I even need it. And, or I just forgot to turn off my coffee machine this wow. week. Or you know what, I used to be able to drink three glasses of wine. Now I have one and I'm like buzzed and so your tolerance really does decrease because you're purifying your physiology and as yeah. you know it's poison and so your your receptivity to poison decreases yeah yeah I love it mm -hmm. so what are some techniques that uh, folks watching here can do at home to reduce those cravings, reduce their stress and anxiety. What, is, what are some of the things we can do? Yeah, so I mean, I'm biased, but I would say like learning a practice we can do on your own every day is the best way to do it. But there are also some quick things that we can do right now together. Mm. Um, one of them is called the 2X breath. It's super simple, but if you're feeling like you might be having an anxiety attack or you're feeling overwhelmed or you're feeling like you just are about to pour that drink, try this first. So super simple 2X breath. So we'd have a seat, we wanna have our back supported, our head free, mm -hmm. and you simply inhale through the nose for the count of two and exhale through your mouth for four. So simple, inhaling through the nose for two, and exhaling for four. One, two, three, four, really good. Again, inhaling through the nose for two. And this time as you exhale, closing your eyes and letting your brow soften, letting your jaw soften, letting your shoulders drop, letting your belly soften, exhaling any overwhelm, any anxiety, and keeping your eyes closed and this time inhaling breathing right into your belly through your nose breathing in energy bringing in cool calm confident energy and as you exhale now softening your belly your hips your legs your knees even all the way down to your feet and one final time we're doubling the length of the exhale from the inhale because this helps to strengthen and calm our vagus nerve, which is the super highway between the brain and the body. So this time as you exhale, feeling your shoulders drop, all of your muscles soften, letting go of any anxiety, any overwhelm, any speculation, so that you can arrive right here, right now, in your body, oxygenated, energized, present, and ready to show up as the most amazing version of you. Really good, so in your own time, whenever you're ready, you can start to slowly, gently, open your eyes so that's it it's that simple it's the 2x breath you're simply doubling the length of your exhale from your inhale which is a really great way to strengthen that vagus nerve um, which is something that gets hampered with stress mm. and it's one of the reasons why we feel so disconnected from our heads and our bodies so I would say try it out next time you feel like oh I'm gonna reach for that drink or I'm feeling like I might have an anxiety attack or I'm feeling overwhelmed just in for two out for four the simplest yeah I love that you call it the 2x breath 2x breath yeah, yeah. you mm -hmm. just double it up right yep. so in for two and out for four yep that's right and it was amazing just doing that with you now how much calmer I feel now and how much calmer I felt after say like the second way second um, round doing that the first one I actually felt my shoulders going up and yeah. it wasn't that I was tense but I could feel myself kind of forcing it a little bit mm -hmm. so it wasn't uncomfortable but it was just like I was in it but then on the second one when I was like and then out again like 
-hmm. I started to feel my whole nervous system relax and my, oh. my shoulder, when you said drop your shoulders, yeah. I dropped my shoulders, I'm like, ah, oh, okay, this yeah. is actually kind of relaxing. Yeah, and yeah. the thing about it is if you're in overwhelm or anxiety, mm -hmm. you don't need something complicated. You don't need to like think about your chakras and your auras and your unicorns and your mala beads <laughs> and your yoga. It's just like, no, just, just double the length of your exhale. Yeah. Just that's it, just get out of overwhelm. Yeah. And then and then you can, and then all of that energy is in your amygdala, the fear base of your brain. Yeah. It starts to you start to oxygenate your whole brain. Then we start to light up that prefrontal cortex, which is the executive function of our brain. And the thing is, you can't reason with your fear. That amygdala is reptilian; it does not speak English. So if you you could know all day long all reasons not to drink, but if you are in fight or flight and you are stressed, you're not making decisions based on your executive function of your brain. You're making decisions based on a very old reptilian fight or flight, and that thing does not understand language. It only understands pleasure and pain yeah and so it's looking for that you know like let me just smoke that cigarette let me have that chocolate let me have that drink yeah and even if you think about it it's kind of like smoking an imaginary cigarette yeah so we should take up sm imaginary smoking now <laughs> I got it this is it imaginary smoking. you're here to quit alcohol and now you're taking up imaginary smoking <laughs> I'm going to put a link down below, Emily Fletcher, thank you so much. Um, what uh, can people get out of Ziva Meditation? Uh, there's a little link down below, I'm going to, uh, and I encourage you, go down there and check it out. But yeah. what's, what are some of the things that uh, they'll get from that? Yeah, so we have an online training and you learn mindfulness, meditation and manifesting. It's, it's a trifecta and it's, it's a matriculation, it's designed to make you self-sufficient so that you have these tools to take with you for life. You wake up, you meditate first thing before coffee, breakfast or computer and you do it again mid-afternoon and it gives you this hit of energy and productivity, creativity, it can reverse your body age, it can help mm -hmm. improve your sleep quality, which is something I know you care a lot yeah. about. Mm -hmm. It can reverse your body age by up to 8 to 15 years, wow. it can improve your sex drive. And people are like, how can meditation do all these things? And the better question we should be asking is, how is stress messing so many things up? And stress is not an incurable illness. We have a cure. It's called meditation. We all just think we're too busy to do it. But the thing about Ziva is that it gives you more time in your day because stress is making us stupid, sick, and slow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So whether you do it on your own or whether you do it with the help of Ziva Meditation, and there's a link somewhere around here, just uh, click on that uh, and get more of uh, Emily's words of wisdom uh, and also practices of wisdom as well, right? Yeah. Um, whether you do that or the other, really understand that stress and anxiety is leading to you craving the drink and reducing your stress and anxiety through some of the practices that Emily just walked us through is going to reduce your cravings for alcohol in the first place. Uh, so Emily, thank you so much. Really pleasure. appreciate it and uh, happy reducing your stress and anxiety.